In this video, I'm going to be talking about psych meds. So often I hear from people online and in real life that psychiatric medications are bad for reasons X, Y, and Z. And there is a lot to unpack there in this pervasive demonization of psychiatric medications. So today, let's talk about psych meds and why they are a good thing. That, if someone is prescribed them, they should definitely take them. This won't be a long video, but it will be an opinionated one. So if you're down for that, join me and let's get started. One of the frequent comments I get online and in real life has to do with long-term side effects and how this makes psychiatric medications inherently bad. Of course, this contributes to the demonization of psych meds, which works to scare people away from treatment. But let's be real for a second. I won't lie to you. I know that some of the medications I take run the risk of serious long-term side effects. And those side effects are bad. Like, there is some truth to this. I'm not naive. I know what I take. So I'll give a few examples. Lithium is famous for causing kidney damage with long-term use. My antipsychotic Zyprexa can cause a permanent movement disorder called tardive dyskinesia. And Lamictal can mess with my bones. And that's just to name a few. A lot of people fixate on these, really focus on them, and use the potentiality of long-term side effects to demonize psych meds as a whole and well tell people to not take them because of the risk. Totally forgetting all the amazing benefits of taking them in the first place. You know, actually reducing the symptoms of a serious psychiatric disorder. Psychiatric medications are awesome. But I want to say, back on the topic at hand, that there is risk in everything you do. I mean, geez, getting in a car is dangerous, but most of us do that anyway. But besides that canned and very overused example, any medication someone takes runs the risk of long-term side effects if it's used enough. And that's not just reserved for psych meds. I also take a medication for heartburn that helps me not throw up every morning. Taking it minimizes suffering, and while it does run the risk of long-term effects, someone wouldn't tell me to go off of it because of that because it helps me so much in my day-to-day -day life. And it's the same with me and many other people who take psychiatric medications. They keep people from suffering. And actually, going further, they keep people alive. They keep me alive. Without psych meds, I wouldn't be here. Without my necessary medication, I would end it all. I am being serious. I once was on the way out of my psychiatrist's office and offhandedly said, I don't know where I'd be without my meds. And he replied immediately with a deadpan, I think we both know where you'd be. And that stuck with me because he was right. I did know. I knew I wouldn't be here and he knew it too. So if I get any of these long-term side effects I've mentioned, well, I'll just deal with them when they happen and accept them. Because at the end of it, I got to live long enough to have them happen in the first place. What a privilege. And that's just my reality. I really value having a desire to live and keep living. So I'll keep taking them, even with these risks, because they keep me alive and they keep me functional. And the cool thing is that psychiatric medications can be taken long-term. That's the actual effect. They keep working years down the line. A lot of meds out there can't be taken long-term, but psych meds can and can do so effectively for years and years to come, which is awesome. So please, we need people to quit demonizing psychiatric medications because of the risk of long-term side effects. But while I spoke about long-term side effects, there are also regular side effects that people use to demonize psych meds. Because for some, psychiatric medications can be not so great. And I don't deny that. But it is no reason to demonize them as a whole because of a few bad experiences. And people are very, very vocal about their bad experiences. Side effects suck, don't get me wrong. Especially antipsychotic side effects. But one can't take one bad medication experience and use it to demonize an entire group of medications. I had a horrific experience on Seroquel. Like, truly horrible, and I am still dealing with it. But my other meds are great. Fantastic, actually. But I don't go around saying that psychiatric medications are awful because of my one bad experience with Seroquel. And I think a lot of the demonization of psych meds here comes from people who just haven't found the right combo yet, or gave up before they could for a multitude of reasons. And yes, there are people where meds don't work at all, but that's not the majority. And I know that many people deal with bad side effects all the time. I have a laundry list of things I deal with myself. So for many of us, there is a trade-off. But most people can find a good med or a good med combo that has side effects that they're willing to tolerate. And then they live a good life. That's the reality. And geez, if side effects are bad, they need to go to their doctor so they can try something else. 
There are so many medications out there, which means there are lots of options and combos to try. And plenty of side effects can be managed with additional medications or lifestyle changes. It's not a horrible fate to have some side effects. There are options. So please, we need people to quit demonizing psychiatric medications because of bad experiences with side effects. And I also want to add here that psych meds do sometimes change who you are as a effect of taking them. As treating mood and psychosis can have that effect by default. And as a result, a lot of people hate how they feel on medication. But a lot of people do well, really well, actually. Psych meds keep a bunch of us out of the hospital. And they are the reason that long-term mental institutions went away for the most part. Some are still around in some ways, but deinstitutionalization was led by psychiatric medication development. Chlorpromazine and lithium led the charge. And as a result, since then, people live fulfilling lives on psychiatric medications. Which is why I hate it when people say that psychiatric medications are bad because they've done so much good for so many people. Finally, I want to talk about lifestyle changes and psychiatric medications and how the end result of psychiatric treatment is not to go off your meds because meds are bad and you shouldn't be on them. And I want to give a personal example. The truth is there's a lot of lifestyle changes that people can make that can actually really help. Before I became aware of the toxicity of diet culture, I tried the low glycemic diet to help with my moods. The idea was that by controlling and minimizing blood sugar spikes, my moods would be more even as a result. The reality was that it actually did help. It helped a lot. It was like I added a third mood stabilizer. And there is a world where I might have been able to lower my actual mood stabilizers if I'd been able to stay on the diet consistently. But that just wasn't feasible for me. Staying on it long term just wasn't going to work. And a lot has happened in my personal journey that's taught me that I shouldn't be on any kind of diet at all. And that includes the low glycemic one. And there isn't anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying no to a lifestyle change that would really, really help, but is really, really hard to do. And the thing is, the goal of mental health treatment is not to eventually go off your meds because meds are bad and you shouldn't be on them. The goal of treatment is to help you live a better life. And meds are often a huge part of that if you're mentally ill. Because the thing is, many mental illnesses are chronic. They stick with people their entire lives no matter what they do. That's just how psychiatric disorders work. They ebb and flow and require constant treatment. And what treatment looks like for people differs from person to person. As much as lifestyle changes can help, some of them can be really intense to keep up with. So what I do is I keep taking my meds because meds are good. Meds help. And I do easier lifestyle changes that add to the effects of those meds. I walk a few times a week with my dad, have creative hobbies that help me channel my emotions, and I do a few things that help me regulate my sleep successfully. Those are some of the changes I can do sustainably. I won't ever be going back on the low glycemic diet, even if it did work to help me. And that's okay. Once again, the goal of treatment is not to go off meds because meds are bad. The goal is to keep taking them for as long as you need them so that you can live a better life. The cool thing is that psychiatric medications and lifestyle changes can go hand in hand and be super effective together. That's how it is for me. Both help me so, so much. Psych meds are not inherently bad. So please, for the last time, we need people to quit demonizing psychiatric medications. They have saved so many lives and will continue to. Long-term side effects suck. But this doesn't make psychiatric medications evil. Regular side effects also suck, but that doesn't mean that medications as a whole are bad. And finally, the goal is not to one day go off of them because many mental illnesses are chronic and lifelong. Psych meds in full are awesome developments. They keep mentally ill people like me out of long-term hospital care and give hope. And there is something to be said for that. And if you've had a bad experience with psychiatric medications, I'm... I'm truly sorry, and I hope things get better for you. All right, phew, I said it all. And as such, that is all for this video. If you have any opinions, let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, thanks so much for joining me and making the uncomfortable comfortable yet again. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.